How do you get more intimacy in your life? Did you know there's actually different kinds of intimacy? Stay to the end after the show reel as well, and I will teach you on how to get more intimacy in your relationship. <laughs> you can't feel too much. Well, hello everybody. One of the things that often people start getting curious about is how do I get more intimate in my relationship? First, let me ask you this. What is your definition of intimacy? Some people, when they're talking about intimacy, are actually talking about sex, physical intimacy. And when you're looking at how to get more physical intimacy in your relationship, we also sometimes want to look at what other kinds of intimacy are there or are lacking. So for example, there's also emotional intimacy. Some people need emotional intimacy in their relationship. In other words, a strong emotional bond, a feeling like they're valued, a feeling like they're connected in order to have physical intimacy in their relationship. Yet for others, when they're too emotionally bonded, I'm saying too emotionally bonded, but when there's a lot of emotional bond, they're actually so connected that the actual physical intimacy lessens. They stop seeing their partner as someone sexual or as someone fun that they can freely do whatever they want with. If you've ever read the book, um, Mating in Captivity by Esther Perez, she talks about this a lot in her couples where they look at what kind of intimacy do I need or not need in order to feel attracted to my partner? We also look at emotional intimacy. So emotional intimacy is when you start engaging with your partner about intellectual conversations, perhaps like what's going to happen in my future? How do I want to live? How do I want to be? What's going on in politics? Like whatever that is for you, or maybe it's more of a creative level of intimacy. What's going on with art or with movies? And you have this like creative way of expressing in your house, in your gardens together. So what I want you to do then, this is why it's so important, is start looking at when you first started seeing your partner, what made you really engaged with this other person? Now, sometimes when we're not as invested in a relationship, it's a lot easier to have physical intimacy. For others, that's not true. But it can be easier to have physical intimacy in a relationship because it's all new, right? We've got the date coming up. We're planning. What are we going to wear? What are we going to say? What's going to happen? How is this going to impact us, right? So there's this all of this buildup around the evening or around the get together, which creates this certain level of connection that makes it easier for many people for the physical intimacy to happen. And then we get into relationship and we don't have that same buildup. In fact, sometimes we think it's boring, right? Well, we don't want to plan out having time together. We don't make date night because we're always together or we have kids to take care of or whatever it is, right? Now imagine instead a feeling disconnected from your partner, feeling like you're having problems with physical intimacy. You can't talk to them. You can't connect with them. There's no emotional intimacy. Start working on one pillar of intimacy. So look at what is it that you need to really feel like your partner is valuable to you again and communicate that with your partner as well. What area do you want to work on? Because there's always going to be times where maybe physical intimacy isn't there or emotional intimacy is a little more challenging. Maybe there's work demands, busyness demands, kids demands, whatever that is. So how do you round out the other types of intimacy to at least keep the relationship strong? So imagine now, instead of wondering what kind of intimacy you're trying to develop in your relationship, you actually have a plan. You know how you're working to connect with your partner. You know what makes you excited. You know what you want. You can communicate to that to them and you can start working on the different kinds of intimacy in a way that at least keep you connected, even if the physical intimacy isn't there right now. And you can start looking at what do you need to get the physical intimacy back? So imagine now, instead of feeling unattractive or like your partner doesn't care, or maybe they've lost interest. Now, instead you've made a plan. You know they're attracted to you, they, you know that they care about you. You're feeling confident within yourself. So what are you doing to make yourself feel attractive, to feel physically engaged? 
Now you can come forward with that same energy, perhaps the same energy you had at the beginning of your relationship. Because our hormones are a little bit against us, I'll tell you. After two or three years, our hormones actually start shifting in the way that we engage in our relationship. So even when you look at other primates like gibbons, gibbons are actually very much like humans where they can kind of move in and out relationships. And sometimes they cheat on each other and sometimes they engage with other partners or they break up or they get, and they get back together and they do all of these things that are very similar how we sometimes as humans act. So it's not just humans, right? Very few species actually mate for life. So if you're actually looking at how do I create more intimacy? How do I create strength in my relationship so it's more long-term? Start looking at what was that that made it so amazing in the first place. Journal that, write it down, clear the emotional baggage, clear the pet peeves by using something like emotional freedom techniques or tapping or emotion code or working through it in your journal or working through it through meditation or actually figuring out where is this coming from and how am I getting or not getting what I need. So once you work through the emotional stuff, you can actually start creating more clear connection without the emotional baggage. Does that make sense? So as you are looking for more physical and emotional intimacy in your relationship, look how those two, write it down. How do those two correspond? Do you feel more connected when you're emotionally intimate? Do you want more physical intimacy when there's more emotional intimacy or is it vice versa for you? And then figure out, write down, what do you need to make that physical intimacy more exciting for you? Like what do you need to want it? And also if you do want it, how do this exercise with your partner? What do they need? And not only listen to that, but see if you can honor it. Sometimes things are at odds, but I'll do another video on this soon. So have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.